So the problem I'm going to solve today is what to do with leftover rice. The basic ingredient is going to be rice with a bit of flour. I'm going to grind them up. But just add a little bit of flavour, I've made a bit of a mixture which combines a little bit of brown sugar, turmeric, garlic, cumin, uh, curry powder with a touch of nutmeg. And that's all in here. Okay, here we have some leftover rice and I'm just going to basically eyeball this one. I'll probably come up with a recipe that I'll put in the description, but I reckon this is just about 300 grams of cooked rice. So I'm just going to put the cooked rice in. Next, I'm going to put in, again, I'm eyeballing this, about 200 grams of flour. I'm using strong wholemeal flour, because what I happen to have. And the rice was wholemeal rice as well. And into that, I'm going to put my spice blend, turmeric and garlic and a few things so in that goes as well all right let's get the liquidizer on and see if this actually works all right i finished blending it now undeniably if i actually had a food processor that would work a million times better but it's a liquidizer so in for, in cooking sometimes you've got to be adaptable and work with what you've got so it's not blended as well as what i liked but we still get the idea and here we have our mixture now it's really aromatic already. Now, because it's cooked rice, you already have the water content and the moisture that's in the rice itself. So I'm probably not gonna need to add an awful lot more liquid into this. Straight in. Yeah, there's, so surprisingly, or unsurprisingly, depending on how you see it, there's quite a lot of moisture in this from the cooked rice. So I'm not having to add any more liquid to it whatsoever. And I've still got or getting rather a nice dough. I think this is working surprisingly well. Here we have it. This is our main dough. I'm gonna need this a little bit more for two or three minutes to fully combine it all together to get a nice smooth mixture. And then we'll go to the next stage. And here we have it, our dough nicely rolled out. So all I'm gonna do now, I'm rolling it into a sausage shape just to make it really easy for me to be able to divide this up into equal portions, eyeballing it fairly evenly. Easy way I find to divide up. I'm gonna go half, half again, half again, and then just go each one of these things into halves as well. It's a really easy way to divide something if you're just gonna eyeball it. What I'm gonna do now is roll each one of these into a little ball, ready for the flattening process. So I'm gonna use two bits of grease through paper. I'm gonna get it going a little bit. So it has a tendency to want to stick. So, and I want these to be rolled out as thin as they possibly can be. So that's one roti. And then I'm just gonna smooth it with my hand just to make sure it's completely flat. And peel it back. And voila, if I just put it upside down. Makes it a little bit easier for me to peel the paper off. Super thin. These things should only take about 30 seconds on each side. About 30 seconds on each, each side. A couple of little, little marks there like that. Boom. One down, a few to go. And just like that, we've turned our leftover rice into lovely, aromatic, soft roti. I mean, come on, leftover rice to, to this. Tears apart, it's nice and soft. Oh. Now, you could make these without the, all the herbs and stuff that I put in, all the seasoning, but the, the aroma 
You can smell a little bit of nutmeg. The turmeric's giving it the rich colour. A little bit of tikka and seasons going through it. But it's not overpowering. You can still have this with a curry or with a dal. Mmm. From leftover rice to tasty roti. Just like that. I think it's wasted. A willful waste makes a willful one. My name is Mr. Lyburn, but you can call me Sir. <laughs>